Hey guys, today we're gonna to go over your home exercise preparedness kit, your EPK. How prepared are you to exercise at home? I have lined up our favorite toys here in the studio and, ha and ha uh, have made a video that shows how you can get all these, uh, these products into your home and you can do a total body workout with, uh, with some of these toys that we have here. So let's take a look at uh, our starters. We've got our Pilates Magic Circle, the ring. It's excellent for, uh, especially for thighs and stretching and arms, chest muscles. Um, I advise you to get the rounded ring, not the super dense ones. We want a softer ring, so a cheaper one is, is your best. Um, next is our small bands, or as they're popularly known, bear bands. Um, they're uh, eight inches and uh, they come in different densities. I recommend you get a, a package of five and um, these are amazing for finding your glutes when we do Pilates mat work. Well, actually not in mat Pilates, but in Pilates style mat work when we, when we, when we play with the toys. Uh, the next bands are your 42 inchers. We've got the big boys like these guys. I love these bands so much. I'm gonna show you so many amazing things with the big, the big guys. And then you also have little ones. Um, I, I advocate you get a couple of small bands like these purples, um, even two different densities of small bands. And then one big guy. Um, but, and also very crucial is for, to have your mom hook or your uh, cheap, uh, well not cheap carabiner, but they're like five bucks. Um, because you can hook your bands, first of all, it makes them very portable, but second, you can hook your bands onto structures, and that allows us to actually do a lot of reformer style moves uh, that we do in the Pilates studio, and you can do them when you have a low structure like so, or a higher structure like a pull-up bar. You can look through some of my old, old <laughs> YouTube videos from like 2010, and there's so awesome. we 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 used to shoot videos with these bands all the time. Um, okay, next up, dumbbells. Uh, I advocate you get two sets: a light set and a heavy set. The light set is twice as light as the heavy set. Um, if you don't feel like you're super strong, uh, fives and tens are great. Um, if you feel like you're stronger. Um, eights and fifteens or um, something along that line works works very well. Uh, next up is your block, your brick. You can get these out of cork or foam. Um, very useful. Um, next is the foam rollers. Okay, you know how much I love foam rolling. Oh my gosh, we do foam rolling every day and I have about 16 of them. Now, for you at home, if you want one foam roller, I recommend the black foam density. You've seen these everywhere. This foam, I'm gonna hold it up close so you can see. You see the texture of that foam and that is an Amazon purchase, which I'll have this link up on Amazon. Um, you can have it in a half size or a full size. Um, I do 95% of my foam time on a half size. A few exercises on the full size, which can be nice. Personally, it's not my favorite uh, stuff to do, but a lot of people and a lot of PTs uh, really love giving exercises on the full size foam. So if you feel like you have space or, um, and you wanna go full size, great. If you wanna go half size and carry it around with you uh, a lot easier, awesome. <laughs> If you want to buy a full size and cut it in half with a hacksaw, done that. <laughs> okay, the other density that's good is your double density. You see that foam double layer? Any foam that you see that's like that is going to be a nice, a little bit softer density than this guy. This guy is your all around best for most things. This guy, if you feel sensitive or pain, you can get, get it. Um, or you can get one now and accumulate more later. Um, okay, the last gear. We have a, a kneeling wobble pad. 
Uh, I like this Yes For All brand because they're a lot cheaper than, um, than the premium brands. Um, and you can also kneel on it. Uh, you can put your hip on it. Um, you can, I mean, you can pad your hands. You can do so much with this guy. Um, and you can also stand on it and balance. Um, and then a mat. Uh, duh, Pilates mat. It's the most important thing. And I don't even have one, a home mat here in the studio. So I just cut a piece. I have a piece of an old cut mat. I'll show you a classic Pilates mat. It looks like so. You see the texture. It's, a, it's about um, a half inch thick. That's your classic Pilates mat. It's like six feet long by two feet wide. Um, I personally, I don't love any mat compared to what we have in the studio. So it's kind of hard to, to make a judgment call on that. Um, if you like yo your yoga mat, a yoga mat on top of your classic Pilates mat can work. Um, putting a yoga mat on top of a carpet can work. Um, but you need more padding for a Pilates mat than a yoga mat because a lot of times we're on our hip sockets or hip bones or on our tailbone or on our spine. So you want more padding than you would traditionally do, um, do your mat. Um, okay. With that said, these are good, but adding something stickier, um, these are good thickness and padding, but adding something stickier seems to be the solution for that. Um, cheaper mat. Uh, last couple of toys, a broomstick. Yay. These guys are super fun. We do so many great stretches and exercises with these and it's just classic. You know, you've got a broomstick. It's like, who uses a broomstick to get fit that isn't fit? You know, <laughs> it's like, and. And the last thing, the, one of the very most important toys is your physio ball. This is the last toy for this video. The physio ball, it needs to be the right size for you. They come in three sizes, 55 centimeter, 65 centimeter, and 75 centimeter. If you are under 5'5", five five, you wanna get the 55. If you are five, five to six feet, 65. Everybody above six feet, you're on the 75 centimeter. Um, the physio ball, there's no regulation for size, um, but I do recommend buying a higher quality physio, a uh, higher quality physio ball because the quality of the material really makes a difference. The cheap physio balls is like a, plasticky kind of feeling and your nice physio balls like these guys from Valley um, it has a nice vinyl type feeling and it's a lot more firm and if you're um, you don't want to be on a ball that breaks or or just doesn't feel good you're not gonna love it um, and you can also use these for uh, you know a little change of pace when you're sitting at the computer uh, this is a good alternative to a chair. Not necessarily an all-day alternative, but a good alternative for a few minutes at a time. Whip out some abs, core exercise, do a little stretching, and then you're back on the computer. Okay, guys. Well, that's all the toys that I think are essential to your EPK, your exercise preparedness kit. Uh, gather them up, and I'll have some videos out where we're playing with all these toys. Um, like I said, it's to me, Matt Pilates is not about toys. Uh, it's, it's about a relationship with your body and toys distract us from that. Um, but toys are so fun in other workouts and we're gonna do other mat workouts where it's like a hybrid uh, core, uh, bands, dumbbells, foam rollers, etc. So get those toys and you'll be able to join me for a lot more exercise uh, while, while we're all at home. Um, and I'm in my home in the B-Body studio too. Okay, have a good one.